Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and I'm joined by the full crew. Dave. Ted. Nate. And uh, today we have a GM911 from Professor Terrible. Mm -hmm. that's Doc terrible. It, it makes me think of Dr. Horrible <laughs> from Dr. Horrible Sing Along Vlog. But um, so apparently um, his players uh, from a homebrew game that he's running have run into a dwarf orphan, a nine-year-old dwarf orphan, dwarfin, uh, that they've, <laughs> uh, they've since adopted, who his parents were acrobats, and the dwarf orphan can do backflips on command, which impressed the, the PC wizard of the group. Right. So he's like, I want that boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> backflip for me now. Backflip. Dance, dance. So... He wants to know how to deal with and make it interesting, reward the players for sort of taking the agency in the game to like want to do something that he didn't prepare right. for. You know, he so, has no idea what to do. His next adventure, he wants to be based around the dwarf kid, but he doesn't want to use kidnapping. Because he's, he's already done the he's kidnapping He's recently thing. did it. Done. Right. You can't keep going back to the kidnapping well. It's no, just he, he, he mentions that, the, that his players are you know astute enough to recognize the trope because the last thing was a kidnapping of a, you know, so significant, significant, you know, NPC. NPC, yeah, there you go. Right. Um, so, therefore, what do you do? Now, number one, you totally could just let the kid, you know, go on go on an adventure with them. Have the Short round from Indiana Jones. And, and you know, may, maybe the kid wants something or, you know, wa wants to get a new home, which would, number one, ta you know, take him somewhere that's going to, you know, keep him looked after. And get him out of the party at the same time. Mm. You could also be a little more subtle and be like, uh, you know, maybe during the course of the next adventure, they realize it's that he's, he's got to have him a nine-year-old kid around. There's that. Yeah. And also, you know, maybe he's got some kind of weird birthmark, mm. and like at the end of the next adventure, they come across that mark again. Mm. You, you know, so you could so you could kind of like slowly work it into the plot, right. or you could do something where he's like so like he's got this adventure he has a cold right, and and then you know maybe the next adventure he's getting sicker, and mm. like they need to come up find a way to to heal him or cure him, mm. or you know you could do a curse or you could do you know you could do a disease, any of which could be magical or non magical. Obviously the curse has to be magical, right? But the disease could be magical or non magical in nature. You could do something interesting. Maybe he's cursed. You know. After he hit, when he hits age ten, his birthday's coming up, he starts turning into a werebore or something. And uh, but again, anything you do like that, you might you want to make it over the next session or two, maybe. You want to you want to tease it out. You could yeah. do a thing where like a long lost relative, like somehow, uh, you know, like some correspondence or like somehow that comes back into life that he could have an uncle somewhere. Like there's mm -hmm. rumor of the fact. You know, the adventure could be about getting him to this relative. Um, again, yeah. taking him out. Also. You have a freaking nine-year-old kid with you while you're adventuring and fighting people. I feel like NPCs should be criticizing your decision to put your child in harm's way or right. adopt the child. <laughs> oh yeah, are there yeah. any dwarfs in the party? That yeah. would be great. Yeah, I'm like, like can't believe you're bringing your son along. <laughs> yeah, 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 like uh, almost like a uh, a fantasy trope, like child protective services. Like yeah. they could have to deal with. Maybe there's an order of paladins that so like that's one of their things. Like what what are you guys what are you guys doing? Why would you do this? This is a child endangerment. This, this no. makes no sense. Yeah. Now you 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 can. You know, you want to definitely reward the player who you know who wants to, you know, keep keep the the son. So the, I think the the lycanthropy, unless you can literally remove that, I think that's going to be you know. That gets uh, Raven lofty. More, well, more. no, you, you, absolutely. If if you're going to put want this NPC to stay in, you have to put in you know the mechanism to fix it. So I, I think you know the have, having. Having something where they're criticized for carrying around, a, a, traveling around with a nine-year-old definitely could be could be a challenge. Um, you know, perhaps the the, the nine-year-old wants to seek some kind of training. You know, hey, these these adventurers rescued me. Well, I want to begin my training so I can be an adventurer. In I want to be a wizard years. now. Son, dwarves or, are not wizards. <laughs> or a bard, yeah. a backflipping bard dwarf. They're mm. definitely not that, but that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, going on the relative idea, I think a great is a great idea too. What if a relative does show up, but they're not a good person? Mm -hmm. Like they're a hardcore yeah. dwarf, and they're like acrobats are not allowed. Yeah. Well, no, mountain. no, no, a hardcore <laughs> bad major. person. Oh, well, and, yeah. Okay. And like they like the dwarf, and the, even the dwarf is like, oh my god, this is I've heard all the horrible stories about Uncle Hargar the horrible. <laughs> I don't want to go live with him. 
He beats the children he has. <laughs> yeah, like he could be a warlord or something like that. Yeah, he could just be, you know, so you could set something up like that where where they're trying to figure out how to keep him. And maybe he's really a greedy person and they're like, and he's like, well, if you complete this task for me, you can keep the brat. Mm. So he figure he turns away to make the kid valuable, and like this character could keep showing up as a thorn in their side. Mm. Oh yeah, throughout the whole entire campaign, where he, you know, he's not actually he'll be the most he's not an adversary, ever. but he's at very adversarial towards them. Right, and, and you know, it just it, you know it, it it creates this interesting dynamic where you have a quote unquote villain, but the solution really isn't just to kill him. Right. Or maybe it is, but- Well, if you kill him, then you're gonna have to deal with, you know, the, the, mount, legal, the mountain of uh, dwarves that are, you know, following this guy. You'll be in, you'll be entered into the Book of Grudges. Yeah. <laughs> we, we know that- Only we have to be rubbed out when you're dead. <laughs> yes. So, I, I mean, I think that would actually be like the coolest way to go, is the, to introduce a relative character that is just a bad person and sending your this adopted dwarf with them would be bad for them. And then, you know, I would definitely just go and play the angle of greed and avarice for the dwarf and be like, sure, you can keep them, but, you know, this you have to do this for me or or, or this is what it's going to cost. Right. Oh, basically, the guy's going to claim rights on the child. Yeah, right. and bribe them. And then be like, well, you know, I could be convinced to give up my rights if you do this for yeah, me. It's just straight, straight up, which you is know, really what he wants. Straight up, yeah. pay me money, or you know, go go find this, you know, item that's you know of value to me and my client. And, and at this point, you should have said nothing about NPCs complaining about the kid with the adventure and team. Right. Mm. It's only after this deal is sealed that that starts to that's happen. An issue. So then he can come back later and be like. You know, I'm not the bad guy. I'm not take, dragging, dragging this poor, poor child into <laughs> dungeons. Into arms <laughs> so even though he signed off the rights, he could be like, I did, but I didn't think they were going to do so, something so horrible. So I thought, reckless. Yeah. I thought the wizard was going to take him to his tower and teach him to read <laughs> and write and, 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 and do weird, undwarfy things, but <laughs> put him in danger. Yeah. I would never do that. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, him criticizing the party. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, so, I want to be in this game now. <laughs> yeah, so you could do something along those lines. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Right. So, I don't know, we cover I, I, this one? You uh, got this? I, I, like, I like Dave's angle, but I usually like to back off of Dave's evil <laughs> angle. And I just want him to be a dwarf that's like, this is what dwarfs do. We make, we make armor, and we live in a mountain, and we dig for the old. And you're not doing any of these backflips, acrobats, juggling stuff anymore. <laughs> so just like... Uh, uh, so uh, are you saying they steal the child? No, an adult, an adult that's... That's a relative of his that has basically like blood claim on him. Mm -hmm. uh, comes around, you know. The the party is like, well, you know, he's my adopted son now, or whatever. The wizard says, you know, then there's going to be some kind of like conflict where it's just like, you know, he's doing all this stuff that I don't approve of. He's going to come back and be a real dwarf. Uh, so there could be some kind of issue where, you know. I, I don't want to make it too legalese, but like that kind of concept that maybe there's a conflict where maybe the uncle would back off if certain things are like, oh, yeah, we promised to take him to the Smiths and train him or whatever. Or, you know, maybe... The that uncle... sounds like a very exciting adventure, Nate. Mm. Um... <laughs> Well, I, is like, that the game you wanted to play in, Ted? <laughs> Where you guys discuss rationally about how you can make him be a good dwarf? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm seeing the... Uh, we need conflict. The, it's a D&D &D game. The Kevin, the Kevin Bacon movie where, they, where he can't dance. Yeah, Footloose. I have no idea what you're talking about. Footloose. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, there could be other stuff involved in that, but I mean, that's gonna that's gonna evolve based on how the players. So also to with that. Right. The thing with dwarves is they come to maturation later in life. They live longer, but they come. So right. like a nine-year-old dwarf is actually super young. Right. Like yeah. really. Like it's probably like almost what like a six three or, or three-year-old child. But I imagine they're not really playing it that way. Yeah. So yeah. Whatever. It's their gameplay. However they want. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like yeah, like you could have this this dwarf be like very juvenile and naive and like you know all this kinds of stuff oh, so like his naivete is like a liability for the party well yeah you could, you could play that angle that could come out sometimes but i in, de with a in defense kid, if, depending sense. on how long he's been in the orphanage too mm -hmm. like he might have had to grow up fast for a dwarf because you know in order to survive right mm -hmm. orphanages don't necessarily, aren't always necessarily good places to be yeah. Yeah. right and they if could, you don't have any street mm -hmm. smarts give the feeling of mini prison you're gonna grow yeah. up fast yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you know, with that. So, I don't know. There's a couple ideas we put out. Uh, in the comments below, you will find a ton of other ideas, I'm sure. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can uh, go check out our uh, Patreon account and support us that way. You can read the articles over at nerdarchy.com. 
And uh, while you're checking out the articles, you could also uh, check out Nerdarchy the store and get yourself some sweet Nerdarchy swag. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.